what is up guys welcome back to our channel hope everybody's doing good with everything that is going on today in today's video we are going to fly out to missouri test drive inspect a 2009 g55 and if everything turns out good about it if uh, it works perfect we are going to drive 2000 miles through the country back to sacramento we don't know much details about the car until we actually see it in person and pretty much like i said inspect it test drive it and if we like it we are taking it we are buying it and we are bringing it back to sacramento and we probably do some crazy things to it who knows but this is about to be a crazy road trip so let's go all right guys so we made it to the airport went through the security check no problem so now we're actually getting on the plane this is my first time flying on the plane so we'll see how it goes but we'll see if i'm scared of heights or not right <laughs> So yeah, we'll see. Uh, well, I work skyscraper, so I should be good on heights. We'll see. Let's let's check in. Alright guys, so we picked up our rental, it's a 2019 BMW 530, so it's a kind of like a lower class car, but the interior is sick, I love the interior, the outside, the body wise, I don't really like it, 5 series was never my, my style, kind of BMW, I like them 4s and 3s, but let's check out the interior real quick, so check that out, it has kind of like the S class Mercedes, has that lighting all around, you can basically choose colors right here so cool if you're feeling cool today hey, what if I'm feeling like red or something green <laughs> this is sick it's the sport package as well so it kind of comes with a lot of options besides sea warmers I was actually trying to find some sea warmers could not find any whatsoever it is cold here look at that it goes all the way in the back seat that is sick the camera's kind of hard to focus right now there you go that's a lot of colors how much colors is there all together that's a lot of scroll down scroll down fast that's a lot of colors yeah that's pretty sick all right so now we pretty much got a two hour two and a half hour drive to our hotel which is going to be located in the same area where the dealership is. Unfortunately, that's the closest airport that was by the dealership. So now we're going to have to rent the car, drive to the airport. If we're going to end up buying the car, we're going to have to bring the car back two hours and then drive 2,000 miles back to Sacramento. So that that is that. All right, guys. So we actually came to our hotel. That's our hotel right there. It's huge. It's a brand new hotel. As you can see, there's nobody at all. It's probably 10 cars. And there's probably like 500 rooms in there so 10 cars that's including the workers and we grabbed some food taco bell it's the only place that's open so it took us about uh i'd say probably two hours to get from the airport and we we're going to go check out a room it was cheap a hundred dollars that's really cheap for this hotel it's normally like 500 dollars but i guess with everything going on the prices are dropping so just go into our hotel, check out our room. Haven't seen it yet, hopefully it's nice. And after that, we're gonna get some sleep and tomorrow morning, first thing, we're gonna go to the dealership and look at the car that we're purchasing. Let's see how our room looks like. Pretty sure it could be loud in here, there's nobody in here. not bad at all all right guys so we are going to call it a night get some rest we're exhausted from the plane flight and the long drive so we'll just catch you guys tomorrow when we're at the dealership or on the way to the dealership good morning guys this is already the second day let's not kill any time hop in a rental and go check out the g-wagon
There it is. Pulling up to the dealership. Damn, they got a huge in inventory. Look at that. Great car. It's a pretty nice place. Looks like they need some concrete up in here. Alright guys, so this is the guy that sold us our car. We haven't showed it off yet. We will after we washed it. Their inventory is crazy. They got GTRs, R8, all yeah, the good stuff. We might be in the middle of nowhere, but we got a little bit of everything. So. Yeah. Most of yeah. their sales are online, so go check them out. Recar.com. They got all the good stuff. This is only some of the stuff inside the warehouse. You guys probably got how much cars in a lot? Uh, we have about 175 listed right now. So, and all of them, about 98% of them are rebuilt title stuff. Yeah. So. So we are hitting the roads, the street back to Sacramento. It's probably like 2,000 miles or something. So we just hit the freeway and uh, somehow he already managed to have a check engine light on. So yeah, we're gonna have to sort that thing out. We, we kind of figured out what the problem was. We were low on oil. So we're actually gonna maybe stop by somewhere and get an oil change. If anything's open, you know, this, right now, these times, everything's closed with the whole virus going on and everything. Uh, so, but we did buy some oil. We added some oil, maybe like a quarter or something, because it's we're, we're like a uh, quarter low. So, we'll see. We'll see how it, how it goes. But so far, so good. Good morning guys, this is already the second day since we drove out. Uh, we did stop on the rest area, we got really tired. Uh, we are passing Colorado right now. So we still got like probably 1,000 more miles to go to Sacramento. So we still got a long ways to go. And look at this, I gotta tell you, Colorado is just, it's just beautiful. I did not want to record the whole road trip on the way here because it was dark and it was snowing and raining. You could have barely seen anything. Uh, so it would have probably been some boring content. So we just decided to film when it got in uh, basically daytime. So we're probably gonna go grab some breakfast right now, somewhere, find something, if something's open. And film the cool, the cool road ahead of us. Let me tell you, it, it is cold outside. It's like, what is it right now? 30, like 37 probably? 37, 31, around there. It is freezing. Those guys are just chilling outside just like that on the freeway. Damn.
Okay, so we are still currently in Colorado. So we pulled over, found a car wash. We need to wash all the salt off of our car. There's a lot of salt because we did drive through the snow. Uh, we gotta just, it's still gonna get dirty, but we just gotta get the salt off just so it wouldn't ruin the uh, paint job. Even though it's not the best, it has scratches here and there. Anyways, so we're like 30, what are we, like 30, 31 miles away from Utah, so I'm actually kind of excited to drive through Utah. Treadman, where you at? We coming. Uh, yeah, let's get this. Let's get this thing washed real quick and hit the hit the road. Okay, so on the way to Utah, we purchased a nice whip. Comes with gas and everything. Here, let me let me let me show you guys around. Alright guys, we got to Utah finally. Look at this place. This place is beautiful. The view here. The weather. The weather here is perfect, honestly. So we're going to take a few shots of the sign and our car and then we're going to just jump right back on the road and continue our, our road trip. Guys, we just had to pull over and take some pictures. These views are just sick. Look at all these mountains behind me. Utah is just dope. I, I haven't actually been in, in Utah. This is actually my first time in Utah and it's a lot better in person than it is in uh, pictures and all. It's sick. This guy drives through Utah all the time. This is actually my first time. It's so sick. I freaking love this place. We're still gonna be driving through Arizona see how that place looks like but so far I think so far Utah's probably like the best state we drove through all the other states we drove through it was either night or snowing or raining but the weather here is sick the place is sick the mountains everything about Utah is just sick so let's hit the road and see what else we run into It's about like a 27 mile drive through Arizona. We're right on the corner of it. We found this amazing view right here. Also mountains. So we just decided to do a little bit off-roading, you know. Um, basically, see how our G-Wagon is doing off-roading. I mean, I know how they do off-roading. They do pretty well, but just, just wanted to check out this one. So just shooting a little bit clips. Alright guys, this is the world's biggest gas station in the world. That's what it said. It was said world's biggest gas station. So there's like 95 or 96 stations over here. The crazy thing about this is it's usually packed because it's actually on the way from Los Angeles to Las Vegas. So this gas station is usually completely packed. So you can see it's only us right here and one more car right there. And that is it, that's crazy. The world's empty, everything's on lockdown. Just crazy what's going on. But yeah, this is, I actually never knew about this gas station. Never knew there was so much, so much. I, I would I'd be surprised for this whole area to be packed. There's so much gas stations, there's 95, yeah, like I mentioned, 96. 
numbers on them, I'm not real sure. I don't have time to actually go around and count everything, but yeah, it's pretty cool. What's up guys, as you can see, it's already the second day. 2,000 miles later, we are home, back in Sacramento, safe and sound. Uh, we can finally go over the whole G-Wagon and talk to you guys a little bit of what we want to do to it. We did not record last night because our battery died, first of all. Second of all, it was already night and nothing fun happened. Just seven hours boring drive the whole night back to Sacramento. So I just decided to start recording early in the morning. Well, it's not really early. It's like 12 already but whatever anyways so let me just show you some sketchy stuff that happened last night that i noticed that could have been a problem but good thing it it didn't it didn't escalate so check this out so this bumper look at it so you see it's moving so i noticed something was squeaking the whole way and it was getting worse and worse and i was like what is this so i did a little bit of investigation in the morning so i don't know if you can see right in there, there's a little let me get, try to get it there's a little bolt there there's a little bolt holding on the bumper right there and right there so that bolt is barely holding on that one is already gone completely so we could have lost the bumper good thing we didn't so first thing i'm going to do is probably hit the dealership get another bolt real quick try to get the little plastic piece and then we'll go over the whole entire g-wagon what we're going to do with it on our way to the shop uh, before we actually go over the car kind of on the outside while I'm driving, let me just kind of go over our plans, maybe what we want to do to the inside of the car, to the mods we want to do to it. So right now we're not 100% sure on everything we want to do with the interior, with the outside. You know, we got a whole bunch of crazy ideas in our head right now that we're planning to do. Maybe like a four by four conversion kit, but we are waiting on maybe some answers from some people on conversion kits for the axles. Cause I don't, I don't want to just lift it and put beefy tires on it. You know, that's just more off-road. I actually want to look a legit conversion kit of the four x four square. Uh, so for now, I don't know the interior color. I don't know if you guys saw my previous G-Wagon. I had the red diamond stitching interior. I really love the interior. I always loved red interior. Uh, so that's probably our option. One of the, our options. And I, I actually saw like a dark brown diamond stitching as well that i really like as well at the dealership i saw on r8 so we still don't know what we are going to do yet to the interior uh we're still kind of looking around making decisions uh to the whole outside of the body it's either going to be matte black or i think a satin black or it's going to be the uh, satin dark gray just like my old one or just gloss black but we're only gonna go with those three colors, you know, because we don't really wanna go with the color that's like orange or green or red because we don't know what interior color we're gonna go with. And if we're gonna go with, you know, a, a red a red uh, G-Wagon with brown interior or a blue G-Wagon with red interior, it's just good. You know, a G-Wagon is supposed to look like a mean tank. It's not supposed to look like a bag of Skittles, you know? So, and those three colors, everything's gonna be, everything's gonna match with those colors. The interior, doesn't matter what color interior we do. If the G-Wagon's black on the outside or dark gray, doesn't matter what color we do on the interior, it's going to look good. So, yeah, like I said, we have pretty much a uh, whole bunch of ideas right now in our head. What we want to do to the car, we're not 100% sure what we want to do. Uh, go with different rims, you know, 22s or 24s, uh, we'll see. Uh, what kind of style rims we can find but your guys's ideas also help us so if you guys have any ideas any opinions you guys always just drop the comment down below give us your ideas we always read the comments who knows maybe we go off of your guys ideas maybe you guys have better ideas than us you know we never know uh until we actually you know start kind of looking through all the ideas see what we want to do work with and we're kind of just design you know our own kind of g-wagon with you guys kind of custom make um, custom build it from the outside and the interior uh, we're definitely gonna go with the uh, starlight just like my previous one kind of like the Rolls Royce look not a lot of people like it but you know I like it a lot of people do like it too uh, but you can see I don't know if you can tell but our suede and our suede headliner is kind of popping off right now it's unglued I mean it is a 2009 car so it is kind of old already so that's that's nothing that's i'm not surprised that happened but we could still use the same 
headliner you know it's it's perfect condition all it did is just unglued we got to pretty much drop the headliner glue it back on which we still have to drop it to do the starlight so it's kind of a win-win situation so yeah like i said give us you guys his ideas and we'll see what we're working with and that being said let's hit the road hit the, i kind of i pulled over i had to pull over and kind of record i didn't want to drive i was driving i decided to pull over just much safer um but yeah let's get back on the road get to the shop and go over the car on the outside show you guys the condition of the paint uh there's some little dents little scratches here and there some parts that we got to remove like chrome pieces all around that i don't like and fix our bumper that we almost lost on the way to sacramento from uh, missouri and we are missing some little plastic pieces so yeah like i said let's hit the road and go over the car at the shop with you guys and so you guys can see what kind of what we're working with yeah let's let's go all right guys so you guys nazar did tell you guys what we're going to do on the inside right now i'm going to tell you guys what we are going to do on the outside so when we got the car there's a couple scratches dents everything like that the whole fender scratched up yeah, i don't know let me try to focus it so yeah it's there's only, it's only this fender too yeah it's only this fender then there we have the dent on the hood we have two dents we have two dents right here in the back on the tailgate i'm gonna say yeah on the tailgate one up there this is a pretty fat one right yeah here. uh okay. one down here and then we also have this dent right here on the quarter panel yeah so there's only all together there's only like what four dents like four dents that's like that's that's easy fix we also do have these holes in the fenders from these uh i guess it's if if you're lonely in the woods and you want to grill something <laughs> yeah so this is this grill is ugly it needs to go yeah that's this, ugly this. right there also on the tail lights there is also those chrome grills they gotta go to these grills right here yeah they got to go yeah and the thing is these are expensive they're like 500 dollars on ebay oh damn so we could get we could get some good money for yeah. those too and then this know? is actually the first time i see this on a stock bumper it has a it has sort of like a lip so could, what i noticed every single g55 i've been looking for it always has that little chrome bar on the bottom it's mostly only g55s so i think yeah it's that's, like, the, that's actually the first time i see it in person yeah and then it did have the front grill but they did take it off that does not matter we have a g63 grill and that you crashed <laughs> that you need to fix it's fixed <laughs> and then and and then uh the front end it does have this little plastic right here yeah, missing right. but that's all good because all this is actually going to get swapped out we're going to put the whole g63 body kit onto the front the fender flares are already wide they already have the g63 fender flares so we don't have to do that that's yeah, less things uh, are beefy so you see how the stock tires kind of go inside a little bit so once we get some nice 22s or 24s with some beefy ass tires it has to have it's it has pretty to much have gonna, a lot of spokes yeah g-wagon rims always have to have so a lot that's of spokes. what we're gonna go with i just saw a 2019 g g-wagon at the dealership so i really like those rims yeah and then we're also probably gonna go with these black we're gonna try making these black i mean chrome they look nice too they don't forget chrome. about that part when we take that we, we what we did not know about this part is when we remove the side skirt i guess this is called like a side step side step this is all individual pieces well it comes out one piece but you could separate it into individual yeah. pieces well you have to separate to paint it black yeah. well yeah to if paint you it want black, a good these, paint are, job. these are all uh, rubber moldings basically holding it together right in between yeah but this is actually if we like uh, with the outside it is going to get a full wrap so we're not worried about the scratches the dings uh we either get the dent guy to remove the dents or we i mean since we're, we're going to have to fix these scratches might as well just it's body only this the fender dents. it's like somebody was walking on it no i think there was like a cat or something you know yeah, it's only that all right guys so that is going to be it for today's video uh we do have a lot of crazy things we want to do to the g-wagon the thing is out of all of our g-wagons we actually never recorded us how we do the body kit swap how we do the headliner with the starlight. with the starlight and all but i think let, for this g-wagon i think let's get the twinkling starlight they came yeah, out with we'll, like a twinkling we'll, starlight we have a lot of ideas. It looks, yeah it looks it, it looks pretty cool and all but yeah this is actually going to be it for today's video so thank you for sticking with us and then Subscribe. keeping company with him all through from kentucky all the way here to california and then also follow us on instagram we do update more stuff on instagram than we do on youtube so make sure you keep up with our instagram make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and yeah we're out